We got to vote. No question about it. We got to vote. That is our way of holding the line. We've got to vote. African Americans face a challenge this year in trying to replicate the enthusiasm of 2008. There's not as much enthusiasm as in the previous election because Obama's not running for re-election. I don't see a lot of um, campaigning as much as I did um, when it was um, when it was the um, presidential election. The apathy is just uh, it's just terrible right now. So hopefully we can change that in a few a few days is all we have. This is Kevin Sack of the New York Times. Nowhere is the challenge of turning out the African American vote more acute than here in North Carolina's 8th Congressional District, a largely rural region in the southern part of the state. Democrat Larry Kissel is having trouble with black voters, especially after voting against the health care bill. A lot of blacks got upset. I guess everybody has, you know, a chance to change their minds. All he can do at this point is just confess and uh, asked that the, uh, the constituents just give him another chance to make some amends. You know, he went to Congress saying, hanging on to Obama's coattail. Let's be realistic about it. But for some reason, he found it necessary to go against the people that sent him to Washington. One reason is that while African American voters here are still overwhelmingly supportive of Democratic initiatives like health care, they only make up about 30% of the district. White voters, Democratic or otherwise, tend to fall further to the right. I guess I'm moderate. I don't really uh, know. Like most House Democrats, Mr. Kissel voted often with Nancy Pelosi. For many conservative white voters here, that's a bad thing. Kissel's the problem. He votes with Nancy Pelosi 96% of the time. But most African Americans want even more. The statement that I voted 90 percent, 95 percent with the Democrats, you know, that just doesn't fly when it comes to the major issues. These days, Mr. Kissel rarely discusses his no vote. Hey, everybody. How are you doing? Good seeing you. He's one of a number of endangered Democratic congressmen across the country who are heavily reliant on African-American votes. He was reaching out last week with events his campaign said were aimed at black voters. But he did a lot more listening than talking and largely avoided politics. J.C. Watkins, who met with Mr. Kissel, complained to the congressman's office last year about the health care vote. Uh, I don't think I've talked very much about it. I know he called me several times and talked about something else. <laughs> Zach's got the motor running, boss. Okay. And he didn't seem interested in talking about it with us. Just a couple of minutes? We're, we're running late, sorry. We hate to have you no commenting on the story. <laughs> After his events on Monday, Mr. Kissel didn't attend a nearby dinner for local Democrats. Instead, he sent an aide who spoke about his voting record, but not on health care. Has voted for every, every jobs package that the president has put out there, every single one. In spite of their disappointment, Many voters we spoke with were prepared to vote Democratic one more time. They have little reason to support Harold Johnson, Mr. Kissel's Republican opponent. You know what the other person's going to do totally. He's not going to do anything for the president. So now, what do you do? So I'm not satisfied with him, but I'm going to vote for him. I'm going to send him, I'm going to vote to send him back again. They're going to grit their teeth and pull that lever for, for the straight Democratic ticket. The challenge we're going to have is getting them to the polls. Turnout is the big question going forward. If Mr. Kissel loses in November, black voters not showing up could be the reason. He's hoping the still strong support by African Americans for President Obama is what will help him prevail. As the hope and change that you voted for in 2008 didn't end in 2008. The challenge for these Democrats is to then hold Mr. Kissel accountable if he wins and then strays again from democratic orthodoxy. Larry, if you listen, I hope you don't do that. <laughs> I just would hope that would not be an issue that we have to talk about. That would be very damning to the process.